Hi friends, a crazy thing just happened while I was uh, editing video. The neighboring RV just exploded into flames and it was crazy. Flames 50 feet high. Now the audio is bad and the video is really raw. I'm just throwing it up there for you. Well, hi friends. Uh, just had a real exciting thing happen. Had an RV uh, just right next to my RV explode into flames. Um, when I say right next, it was the next one over, but but about 75 or maybe 100 yards even away from my RV. So I wasn't in any danger, but uh, man, it blew up and uh, went on fire. Flames were shooting 50 to 75 feet in the air. Things were exploding and popping. And uh, it was just an absolute crazy scene. I didn't get the very beginning of it. I only noticed it uh, right uh, when the flames were shooting up their highest. And I quick, like a rabbit, got my, uh, got my camera and ran outside and shot some video. So I'm just going to put up this video. It's raw. It's unedited. But it's exciting. I don't know what happened over here, but uh, holy smoke, there is uh, obviously uh, an RV that is on fire. How or why, I don't know. Things are popping, things are exploding, so I don't want to get too close. Uh, I would guess that it had a, a fire because of a uh, propane leak or something like that. Uh, but you never know, there may be propane canisters in there that could explode. So I, I certainly don't want to get too close to that. I'm about, uh, wow, hear that? I'm about uh, 75 yards away. In fact, uh, I'm, I'm a little nervous, uh, something could shoot out of there, I'm going to back up real quick. Well, now I'm standing over by my tracker, and, uh, the, whoa, and the tracker is, uh, protecting me a little bit. What a, what a mess that is. I've noticed that RV sitting there for, well, ever since I've been here. And I really wasn't able to tell whether it was uh, uh, inhabited or if it was uh, just a derelict sitting there. But I'll tell you what, this is a dramatic sight here at Slab City with uh, a recreational vehicle uh, just totally on fire. I, I think that it was was either a Class C or perhaps a uh, uh, a fifth wheel. Uh, looks like there is a uh, an overhead compartment in the front of it that uh, juts out like uh, like a Class C would or a fifth wheel would. Well, I've moved just a little bit. Um, the wind is blowing. I hope you can hear me. I'm trying to uh, shoot this with the camera real close. Whoa! Real close to my head. And uh, trying to uh, trying to. Uh, Wow, I hope there was nobody in it. It is, uh, 
It is certainly a uh, a conflagration. What an amazing sight that is. Lord God in heaven, please deliver me from any such thing as that. Yeah, that's uh, that's quite a sight. Well, I don't know if that was uh, occupied or not. I've noticed it over there, and if it was occupied, it was in really, really poor shape. This wind blowing is really messing up my audio. I'm trying to trying to shield the wind. The camera from the wind with my head. Yeah, I'm glad it's uh, blown away, although it doesn't seem to be causing any problem with anybody else. Is popping, but uh, that's why I'm standing behind <laughs> behind the tracker here, just in case something big goes off and a propane tank goes flying through the air a hundred yards. Well, I see some fire on the ground over there now. Yeah, I don't either. Maybe everybody's staying quite a ways away like we are. But if you, if you look on the, uh, the leeward side over there, uh, you can see fire in the, uh, in the grass, in the uh, desert weeds. And with this wind, you know, that could sure, uh, that could sure cause problems. I wonder if anybody called the fire department in Nyland. You know, I've heard of uh, Slab City RV fires before. I've heard that people have arguments here and uh, people intentionally burn other people out. But I have no no speculation as to what might have caused that. No, no, I just heard the boom and came out to make sure you were all right. Yeah, I heard a boom. Whoa! <laughs> I heard a boom too. Looked up and and uh, by that time flames were shooting uh, 50 feet or more in the air already. So. I don't know if the if the boom started it or if that was a result of it. I don't remember if that's a uh, a class C or if it's a fifth wheel. Do you remember? No. You know, if it's a class C, that's possible. There could be a gas tank over there that uh, could uh, go off. It's not my RV over there. Well, somebody is walking around. Somebody's walking around the burning camper now. Uh, probably unaware that things have been exploding.
to look and see I'm thankful that the brush over there on the leeward side uh, hasn't caught fire oh here comes a here comes a truck with lights on it Looks like uh, probably a, a fire truck. Probably coming in from an island, I would guess. Island is a pretty small town, so I'm sure they don't have a fully staffed paid fire department. It's probably volunteers. They can get. That compound is uh, pretty well fenced off. And uh, the only entrance that I know of is uh, uh, very close to where that, uh, that RV is. The fire truck is trying to find a way in there. This is not their first time to Slab City. <laughs>
Well, it's almost out now. And I am freezing cold, so... Sayonara to the fire in Slab City. <laughs> <laughs> wow, was that exciting or what? I'm telling you, you never know what you're going to see on the Papa and the Bandit channel. It can get crazy. Hey, listen, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe and click the bell. Okay? Woo! What a night.